Hi everyone, welcome to Citizens of Our World. Thank you for tuning in and following our off-grid homesteading journey. This week, there's quite a lot to be done um, and it's super hot. Uh, there is two platforms to build and two tents, including an emperor and I is a big tent. And um, we have only a few days to do all of that. So it's gonna be pretty intense, but like any other week and all the work we've been doing so far, well, we're not really shy, but the weather and the heat is a worry. But here we go. We're just gonna press in and carry on. And uh, yeah, just gotta be done. We've got friends and family coming in the next few days and they've gotta have somewhere to stay. So we're just gonna crack on. Hey everyone, so it is going to be an absolutely mental day today. We are going to bust our guts to move a load of the five and a half meter beams and the four meter beams because we need to build another base for a second emperor tent. Um, We've got family coming next week. They're not staying with us, but they're here for a few days, so we'll be spending some time with them. But then they leave, and we've got a really, really good friend of ours, Amy, coming on the Monday. She is here for a week, um, but while she is here, we also have Layla and a friend of hers coming. So we need to have accommodation for three people. Amy needs to be in a tent, and then Layla and her friend Lydia need to be in a tent as well so we obviously got the wood yesterday in prep for that we have just realized we got our numbers wrong as always <laughs> and we haven't got enough planks <laughs> to do both tent bases but we've got enough to do like one and three quarters so we're just going to plow on do the base for the second em for the second emperor tent and then we'll do a base for a bell tent Whilst Dress is putting the other planks on the bell tent, I will have to go and get some more wood. Um, so yeah, we should get it done, but we're kind of up against the clock a little bit because we need to basically get it both done and the tents up and furnished by Tuesday. And today is Saturday. So yeah, wish us luck. I feel like we'll do it. So just to show you all what's going where, we will be putting one of the bell tents just here. So that will be on a five by five meter square base and it's a round bell tent. So that's gonna go in that area there. The other one, the emperor tent is going <coughs> all the way down on the lower terraces. Good morning, Millie. So we've got to move all of the big beams all the way to the bottom, which is just going to be a bit exhausting. We've just moved a couple already. <coughs> so we will be bringing them <coughs> all the way down round and the other emperor tent is going here. Hi Driss. Ready? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine so yeah so this is where the other emperor tent is gonna go so let's get moving those beams
we've set up everything brought the wood down from all the way up there um, it's a bit of a trail uh, above all when you have to bring them one by one but it's getting there Scott is busy standing before we put the frame together we still have a few more bits to do um, this one is a very big base it's going to be just over six by four meter and then we're doing a little extension in there because our beams have a maximum of 535 um, so to make it just over six we're creating a little bit of a extension there it's not going to be that wide um, but it's going to work it's going to work What are you making? I'm doing onion, tomato, Ooh. turkey, Ooh. and Ooh, nice. Let's have a look. What's in there? Mm. Tomato from the garden. Turkey. Yeah. Tagliatelle. With a tarragon and olive oil and... Oh. White truffle olive oil. That looks good. Happy. So it is currently 7.30 in the evening. We've been at it all day. The base is done on the Emperor tent. So that's a big win. Um, we had to stop for a couple of hours because it just got really hot. Um, and we were both needed a little rest, <laughs> to be fair. Um, but we're still going. Um, I'm about to move all of the planks down to the lower terrace <sighs> yeah this is hard work hard work we are both drawing our energy from i don't know where <laughs> the depths of our souls um but yeah we're determined to get the wood moved tonight so it's ready for the morning 
Tris is going to start cutting the blocks so we can finish leveling it out. And then, yeah, it should be done tomorrow by lunchtime, we're hoping. And then we should hopefully get the tent up by the end of the day tomorrow. So I don't think that's too bad. That means we've done an entire base in about a day, all in all, because we didn't really start until about lunchtime, one o'clock-ish today anyway. So yes, we'll check in in a while. I'll tell you what, I'm going to now do this walk about 25 times carrying the wood but I'm very happy that we've made it so beautiful because every time I walk through my heart jumps for joy and I smile and I look around and love the space and I love the land and it's just nice so although I'm flipping exhausted and I'm going to do this 25 times. I actually don't mind. Here we are. Another day. Don't even know what day it is. Um, managed to get all the wood brought down last night, which is great. Um, so Jess has been ploughing on with the decking for the tent base. Um, approaching the halfway mark, so that's good. Probably hear the saw in the background. Um, while Jess is doing that, I am just working on a little project here. So this is our human composting area um, and we just want to screen it off. So I've just used this rather funky tool, the whole post digger thing, um, and just popped in one, two, three, four, five holes. So now I'm just going to put some posts in, let them set, then I need to put some cross beams on and then I need to put the screening up. Um, yeah, it's a job that we've been into for ages. It makes sense to do it now because we've got all the tools down here. Um, and also it's easy for me to help dress as I'm only need to hand. So yeah, so I'm just planning on with that while Jess is finishing off on the decking. Should we get to see how he's doing? Here he is. Coming on nicely. You right, Jess? I'm hot. And tired. Very tired. Hot and tired, not a good combination, but we're doing the best we can. Um, yeah, Let's go and keep at it. It's by far the hardest Just platform. Um, but he's nearly there. We got Scott cutting yes. the wood. The I'm nailing them down. And we've got a podcast on. Anything to keep us going. Oh, and we've got rock. Scott done that. Bless him. Oh, Scott, how's it going? It's by far the longest platform we've ever done. Today went up to about 40 degrees and uh, we had to take a rest for a bit. When he left but oh my god, it's gonna look good though. It's gonna look really, really good. Um, I'm even thinking because this is where we are for now. But here, it's kind of shaded and I love it. It's That's quiet, it's, it's, it's peaceful, it next to the toilet and the shower. And hopefully the sand terrace when it be done and hopefully we'll have a plunge there. So it's got to be the best place. What to do though? Enjoying the podcast? Not really, if I'm honest. So today, hopefully, the base is going to be finished for the emperor, emperor tent. Uh, it's looking good, actually. We've um, we've only managed to stain half of it. We've run out of stain, and Scott is going to get some more. Um, but it's looking good. 
just unbelievable how big it is I mean this is six meters or just over six meters by over four meters wide and again it's gonna be a very similar tent to this one and it's gonna be here so gotta finish this today um, I feel like it's taking forever but it's only been taking about two or three days and also we need to finish this enclosure here so that's to actually hide the composting area at the back so we've got a screen and we're gonna have a door just here on the side it'll make more sense once it's done got the button for the frame so I have to do that while I've got all my gear here but yeah this is looking good kind of love this area it's uh, very sheltered you know it's like a little nook very lovely nice olive trees so yeah so if we manage to finish the stain today uh, and if it dries later by later on this afternoon we should have the tent up hopefully um, so yeah and we've got a pile of rock as well so this is going to be to design the little garden here just going all this way um, I think we're gonna put some gravel we're gonna put some gravel around here as well and um, so we'll be able to access the tent from the top here going all the way around down here or simply using the steps just after the shower there and we've got um, the veg garden obviously over there and then you can go up to the main terrace on that side so yeah it's gonna look amazing just can't wait to have it done and finish and then move on to the third tent and that would be a bell tent a five meters bell tent um, I'm hoping the platform or the frame for the planks is going to be a little bit easier than this one but it's going to be a five by five meters more or less the same uh, but the fact that it's square I'm hoping it's going to be easier so not too sure when I'm going to start that I was hoping to do it today or tomorrow we'll see so Driss how's that platform looking absolutely Yay. amazing it's finally finished. Yay! Um, so, it's huge. It is big, isn't it? I forgot how big it is, but I forgot. And, oh, you know what we haven't done? What have we not done? Actually, measure. Oh, we Do know it's sure. the right size. Don't be silly. We know it's the right size. Okay. So, whilst now that that's finished and it's just drying, yeah. so what, what are we this doing is drying. now? Now we we're hiding the composting area. We're moving on to this. So the posts okay. in the ground are dry and set. It's all, well, it's, yeah, I think it's probably set, but what we're yeah. doing now is just picking button because we're gonna have, we're gonna have a bunch of plastic. Then we're gonna have the bamboo card all around. Uh, we're gonna have eventually a door here, so we can open, get in, and go to the composting. Uh, and a good thing is the water is next to it, as well in case we need it. Uh, so yeah, that's going to need to be varnished, it's going to need to be stained. Uh, same stain as we have for all the platforms. And uh, yeah, and then we just cover it, but we need to get that uh, plastic. plastic. Yeah, we're putting the plastic on because the bamboo is see-through yeah, to see a certain through. degree and we really don't want to see or anyone to see what's behind it. So we can just put the plastic. Um, there which will just make it not see through basically um, and then once that's done we reckon what a couple of hours work on this um, well we need to go and get the plastic the time, yeah uh, um, I would say yeah another couple of hours yeah so then once that's done we will go back to the deck and get that tent up So the tent is done 
Where are you going with that, Scott? To the tent. It's so hot and sweaty, it's disgusting. <laughs> I got changed like three times. Oh. Yeah, but it's worth it. Oh it looks goodness. absolutely amazing. Um, I can't believe we did it just before they arrive. It's always lastminute.com with us, isn't it? <laughs> Gosh. Do you have it any other way? No, no. And that's true. Hold on, it's been hard, I mean, it's, it's been really hard, but it's so worth it, isn't it? Look at that, it's all here. We did it. <laughs> Finally. I'm actually a little bit annoyed. Why? Because <laughs> I prefer that tent to ours. It's way nicer. Yeah, you know what? I was just <laughs> it's the same size, but it's just I think because so it's not so cluttered, it hasn't got all our stuff in it, um, and it just looks really pretty. I mean, our tent's lovely anyway, but um, do you know what I mean? Oh, well. When they've left, we can just um, yeah stay in it for an extra extra night. Good if we ever have a row as well, dress. We've got somewhere both to sleep, got plenty of room. Yeah, no, <laughs> we never row. I'm done. Oh. Anyway, uh, it's done. Is that us done? Yep. So oh, we'll see you God. next week. Yes. Uh, with an update on what we've been up to and how much work and slavery we've put ourselves into as well. Um, <laughs> Thanks for watching as always. Thank oh. you. And if you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. Thanks everyone.